Hi, it's Elder, and in this video I want to share with you how I have recreated the parallax animation effect from the Apple's website without knowing how to code. And I have been able to do that using the Blocks app, the Blocks app for Mac. It is a simple application which lets you build a website without knowing how to code. So let's take a look at how I've done that. So let's take a look at how I have created this animation using the parallax effect in Blocks 3. And once again, if we go down here, you can see that after this cooling system, I have an image which is slowly changing and it looks like there is some animation effect there. And when you do it fast, it looks like the air is flowing through the Mac mini body. And I will show you how to do that from scratch uh, using the different image because well, it will be probably easier for you to understand. So I will close this project and I will create the new one. So let's create the new project. And I will find uh, some of the free stock photo for you to explain. So uh, let's say we want something like white wall iMac. I think that something like, well, something like that will work perfectly. So this is uh, Pexels, one of the websites where you can download the copyright free images and you can use them for commercial or personal use. So I use it quite a lot. I will download this image here, as you can see, and I'm going to make some edits to this image. Okay. so. I don't think you see it at the moment, but this is the image. Let me make it smaller. And what we need is to create two identical images. This is just one different element. So I will just use my image. Okay, let's say, well, this image will work. Something like that. And well, it's not very beautiful maybe, but it's just so you can understand how to do this. And first I will actually resize this image. I don't want it to be super huge. So I will make it 2500 pixels wide like that. And let me save this image first. I will save it on to the desktop. So this is the first image and then I will save another image. This is my image inside. So basically the same iMac, but now we have this image inside. So we'll, let's make it to save it to the desktop. So now let's go back to our project and we will import two of the images we just created. Here I have these two images. So what we are going to do is to set these images as backgrounds for this block. But before doing so, let's add some structure so we don't have an empty website, something like that. And from here we will have our animation starting. So let's take this block and set this first image to be as a background. And I will actually make this block to be full screen. So it fills the screen and I will enable the parallax. So now when we go to our website preview, you can see that we have this beautiful iMac screen as our background. Then what we need to do is to create add another block and do the same. We will set it to be full screen, padding to full screen, and we will change the background image to this one, this me inside. And once again, it is very important, we need to enable the parallax effect. We can do that by checking the parallax button here. And now that's it basically. Now when we go and preview our website, as you can see, in addition to this uh, image without any like image inside, we will have this image inside appearing, magically appearing. 
So of course the main focus here, the two images should be the same size, meaning that all of the other elements here should be exactly at the same place. This is the only difference being the image on the second background image. We can change the padding from full screen to let's say 100. And this way, when we scroll down, the image will start to appear after 100 pixels. You can see here. Well, basically, this is how you do that. And I will quickly show you another example how we can do that. And this time I will be using the Macintosh template, the recreation of the Apple website I have done. And I will actually create the new page. And I'm going to add a couple of blocks here. So one, two, I'll just duplicate these blocks. So I have three new blocks, one, two, three, and I'm going to set the background for the first block to this one, for the second to this one, and for the third to this one. And as you can see, the difference here are this uh, spotlight. So here we have the spotlight on the RAM, I think, or storage. Here we have the spotlight on the processor and here we have the spotlight on the second processor. Same as before, we are going to make them all full screen and this one as well. And we are going to enable the parallax on all three of these blocks. I think you already understand what's going to happen now, but basically, as you can see, we have this image appearing in the center of the screen and on scroll the spotlight just changes from storage to processor, from processor to second processor. And you can see because the image is completely the same, this the only difference being the spotlight, we can get this beautiful animation. And I'm going to go further a little bit and show you how you can make this page even better, much, much better. What are we going to do? We are going to add the text on the sides. So let me add two columns of text. One will be on this side and maybe a little bit smaller like that. And I'm going to duplicate this column and move this column to another opposite side. What I'm going to do is to copy this copy this uh, row and drag this to the next block. So why do I do that? Well, because I want this text to kind of change on scroll. So I will use the scroll effects in blocks and we can do that here in the sidebar. So we will fade in and fade out for our text. And I'm going to enable that for all of the columns we have for text. Okay, so now it's ready. And if you see, we have this image and on scroll we have this text appearing, then disappearing, text appearing, disappearing, text appearing, disappearing. So basically we can kind of show the explanation for this image here, then we scroll up, we have the new text appearing and this text will be like a description of this image here and so on. I mean, if you have any questions, please let me know and I will try to help you.